Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a vegan haul and this was a very popular request. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am a vegetarian and so I went and tried to do my best at showing all the vegan items that Trader Joe's has to offer. I did want to mention that Trader Joe's actually has printable lists that you can pick up at the front of the store where it has a list of all the vegan items that the store offers, all the gluten-free items that the store offers, and I think there's a couple other lists they offer as well. I'm not 100% sure on what those are, but that was actually really big in guiding me through the store and to make sure that I was picking up everything that was actually legitimately vegan. And I wanted to give a slight disclaimer in saying that yes, if I personally was vegan, and I'm sure a lot of you out there that are vegan eat mostly a plant-based diet, and almost everything I'm gonna be showing you are processed and things that are already made. Of course, everyone knows that fruits and vegetables are all vegan, so I just went ahead and got all the fun, interesting items that you guys might not know. Having said that, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys everything I picked up today at my Trader Joe's. I'm gonna start with the dry stuff first. So these are the organic apple banana fruit crushers and my son absolutely loves these. I didn't really know they were vegan. I don't know why they wouldn't be. It's literally just applesauce and bananas, um, but it's good to know and they're easy to take with you if you need just a snack or if your kids like applesauce and you don't want it to get everywhere, this is perfect because it's just in a squeeze pouch. I got some tomatoes, some bananas, some red grapes, and then these crackers here are vegan. There are not too many that Trader Joe's offers that are on the vegan list, but um, these for sure are. They have the little V here. So if you guys are ever wondering um, if a product is vegan, most of the time it will have the V, unless it is blatantly obvious, like say frozen vegetables, those aren't gonna have the V, but if there's no sauce or anything and it's just a frozen veggie, they're obviously vegan. These are vegan as well, the Rosemary Italian Style Crackers, and these are phenomenal. I've had these several times. They are delicious, and they come in like a very big, wide, flatbread style cracker, if you guys can see in the sides. So um, you do have to break them up if you want them with a dip or anything like that. These are the... Um, apple banana fruit bar and the apple mango fruit bar. There's also a coconut flavor and I think strawberry. I could be wrong though, but I know there's two other flavors of this as well. All right, moving along, I have this spicy lentil wrap with spicy tahini and then the veggie wrap with hummus. I've tried both of these wraps before. They're both great. However, I'm going to tell you guys, they are bland, so with the veggie wrap, I always add avocado and it enhances it like a hundred percent it's so much better with avocado so if you pick this up i highly recommend putting something in this avocado is my favorite and this one is pretty bland as well um the tahini sauce does jazz it up a bit but i think this actually would be good with avocado as well but there's tons of different um dips that i bought that i might try in here so when i get to that i'll let you guys know Hey, we have the My Myokos Cultured Vegan Butter. This stuff everybody raves about. It's really hard to find in other stores. I think there's a few others that offer it. We did have the um, vegan cream cheese in the same brand, the Myokos brand, but it was here and gone in like less than a week at Trader Joe's. So I don't know if that's ever coming back, but we do have this vegan cream cheese and it's really not that bad um, for someone that's not vegan. I typically don't buy this cream cheese, but when I do buy it, I don't have a problem eating it. It's really easy to eat, and it's really good if you mix it with something. I know a lot of people like to mix this with like salsa or different things to make um, foods that are vegan that have like a creamy base. This is one of the only vegan uh, cheeses that Trader Joe's sells, and I'm kind of disappointed in Trader Joe's for that because almost all the other um, I guess like soy and almond cheeses that we have still have lactose in it. Um, it's like 0.01%, but still that's not vegan. So hopefully they'll come out with more shredded or just regular vegan cheese. Then I picked up the tabbouleh. This stuff is great. I like to just eat it as a salad. Um, super easy to eat, very yummy. And it says it's a traditional Middle Eastern salad. 
And then going along with that is the Balela. I love this. I eat this all the time. It's super delicious and very filling because there's the chickpeas in there and it has um, tomatoes and black beans as well. Both are very delicious and great to just grab and take to work. I have not tried this and we've had it for a while now. This is the cauliflower tabbouleh and it has a... Um, there's a grain-free twist in this, so it is gluten-free as well as vegan, but it has cauliflower, tomatoes, parsley, uh, sea salt, olive oil, a bunch of things. But the majority of it is just the cauliflower, and you can see that in there. So I can't wait to try it. It looks really yummy. And then here is a dip that I got. This is the jalapeno lime almond dip. I've tried this at work before. It's absolutely delicious. I just haven't bought it because I'm not sure what I want to use with it, but I was thinking that this dip would be great in the spicy lentil wrap because it already has the jalapeno flavor and this is a very flavorful dip. So I think that those two would be a great combination. Okay, also had to grab the vegan chocolate chip cookies. If you guys haven't tried these, even if you're not vegan, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. These taste better, in my opinion, than like the normal chocolate chip cookies. They just are super soft and very delicious. And then I obviously had to get my almond beverage. I haul this almost every week, but this is my favorite. This is in the refrigerated section. It's just the unsweetened almond beverage. There's also a vanilla flavor as well. And then these two coconut yogurts, I've hauled these two, but these are definitely vegan. Um, they're coconut milk, and this is the apple cinnamon, the newest flavor that Trader Joe's offers. And then the classic blueberry, there's also a vanilla flavor as well. Um, and then they're coming out with one more flavor, I believe it's gonna be plain. Keep your eye out for that. I got some traditional style, fat-free, refried beans, and I didn't know that these were vegan. I guess I, some of these things I'm surprised by, which I shouldn't be because, you know, it's beans, but a lot of times they add things to these cans that you're just, you don't even think about. So I was glad to see that this was on the vegan list at Trader Joe's. This is one of my favorite things, the vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. Um, I highly recommend this, guys. If you like pesto, this is one of my absolute favorite pestos that I've ever purchased. I buy this all the time. It's great in pastas. You can use it as a spread on a sandwich. Whatever you want to use it for, it is a wonderful additive. And then we also have the organic pea soup. I'm so happy that we get this every year because not only is it vegan, it's absolutely delicious. And a lot of pea soups have ham in it, and so I never can try pea soup, and it's one of my favorite soups. So every year that this comes back in season, I grab as many as I can because they're just so yummy. Okay, and I've hauled these several times as well. The Smart Tenders Meatless Savory Chicken. These are so versatile. I've used them in so many different things already. I put them in wraps. I made a barbecue chicken pizza, and I actually have that video on my channel if you guys are interested in seeing that. Um, I also grabbed these white bean and kale veggie deli slices. I love these because there's no soy. It's just white bean and kale, so it's more of a plant protein. Um other than a soy one, I should say. So these are great. I've had these before. The only thing I don't like about these is they're really hard to peel apart. So what I've found is just sticking a knife in between each slice helps peel it and then it doesn't like rip in half. And I could not leave out the soy chorizo. This is probably like the number one most popular uh, vegetarian slash vegan alternative that Trader Joe's sells. Everybody loves it even if they eat meat, they buy this all the time to put in there like breakfast burritos. You can throw it into anything. I did a video using the soy chorizo and the meatless meat crumbles and I made a Taco Bell hack so you guys can check that video as well. Um, that turned out amazing too. This is brand new so I guess Trader Joe's is coming out with a new pizza crust every week these days. Um, this is a butternut squash pizza crust and that's all it is, it's just butternut squash corn flour, olive oil, and a touch of salt. So if you guys like the flavor of butternut squash, you might wanna pick this up. This is frozen. Moving into the frozen items, we have the soy creamy mini vanilla sandwiches. This strawberry ice cream made with coconut milk. This is delicious too. If you guys like vegan style ice cream, both of these are amazing. 
And then I got the high protein veggie burger. So this is one of my absolute favorite burgers that Trader Joe's makes. And I love making sliders with burgers lately. So if you guys haven't tried the high protein veggie burger, I highly recommend this. This is pea protein, so again, no soy. I also picked up the vegetable masala burger with authentic Indian spices. I am ashamed to say I have not tried these yet. Um, I'm really excited to try them. I just always pass them up because I like getting the pea protein burgers and the cowboy burgers, but the cowboy burgers are not vegan. They are vegetarian, but not vegan because they have eggs. Um, and then this one, everybody tells me to buy. I've not tried it and I cannot wait to try it because it looks incredible, but this is the vegan tikka masala and it has the cumin rice in it. I kid you not guys, so many people tell me that I need to try this, so I cannot wait to try it. The veggie fried rice, a staple in our house at all times. This is so easy to make. Like it says on the package, it only takes five minutes. It is vegan and it is just an incredible additive to a meal or if you just wanna eat it straight out of the bowl, I do that sometimes. This is a brand new product to Trader Joe's, organic delicata squash sliced and roasted. And this is basically, that's exactly what it is, is just squash. There's nothing added in here and it's new so I had to show you guys. The very last thing that I wanted to show you is this. These are brand new, maple sugar candy. It's just a new product and I thought you guys would be interested. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this is the size. They're super tiny and they were like two bucks. So I don't know what's so special about these, but I'm sure they taste good. This is the overview of everything I bought and I'm gonna taste some of these things right now. Okay guys, so I finished the haul and now I'm gonna try things as promised, but I think my son wants to try one of these bars, so we'll see if he likes it. You want this one? Okay. Okay. He is almost two. I absolutely love these bars, you guys. They're easy to just throw in your purse or in your bag. Kids love them. I love them. So adults, they're good for kids and adults. They're Benson approved. Okay, ready? Oh, yes. I gotta try other things. The items that I'm gonna be trying today are going to be the maple sugar candy, that's gonna be last. The vegan mozzarella. And the tabbouleh cauliflower. So I'll start with this. Mmm, this is really good. It's like any kind of pickled veggie that you have. It has a vinegary flavor, but it's delicious. I love tomato, so anytime that there is tomato added to something, I feel like it enhances it like tenfold, so I would definitely buy this again. It's delish. So I'm gonna try the vegan mozzarella shreds next. Mmm. This doesn't really hit the mark for me. Um, I eat cheese still as a vegetarian, so I don't know if it's because I'm used to eating cheese. Um, it's it's okay. I'm not hating it, I'm just not loving it. So I think there's better cheese alternatives out there. The last thing I'm trying is the maple sugar candy. So there are four maple leaves in here and they are made of maple syrup and that's it. So I'm not gonna eat a whole one, that's way sugary, but they come in these cute little packages. Oh wow. So I really get the maple flavor right away after I bit into this and it definitely is just like, it's literally a sugar cube with maple flavoring. So I don't really know what you would eat this with. Maybe have some tea with this or I don't know, a pancake and a bite of this. Let me know if you guys know what these are really for, because I'm not sure um, if they're just like for looks or if you're supposed to eat them. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe if you have not already. Like, share, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.